we are given two particles with velocities v1 and v2 and their positions are r1 and r2 we need to find the condition for them to collide so we'll analyze it with respect to one so this will be the minus v1 this is v2 so the vector sum will give v21 which is velocity of 2 with respect to 1 now in order to collide 2 must be heading towards 1 so with respect to 1 if we are sitting on 1 then 2 must be must appear to come towards 1 only then the collision will happen as relative acceleration is 0 so we write this condition here that v21 must be towards 1 so this vector must be parallel to this vector so their unit vectors must be same so v21 unit vector is equal to r1 minus r2 vector divided by magnitude of that so v21 cap is v2 minus v1 upon magnitude of that is equal to r1 vector minus r2 vector divided by magnitude of that which is our answer so why did we say here that relative acceleration is zero that's why we were able to do that because relative acceleration adds some complications so we have our standard equation of motion s equal to ut plus half at square in vector form we can also write this equation for the relative motion so we can say s21 is equal to ut1 t minus half a2 t a21 t square so here this will obviously only work if a21 is constant vector because this equation only holds true when acceleration is constant it's uniform so here s21 is r1 vector minus r2 vector this is the condition of collision so don't get confused this is not s21 is not r2 minus r1 s21 is r1 minus r2 vector as r21 is r2 minus r1 and s21 is r1 minus r2 see eventually they are colliding so displacement of 2 which is what this represents displacement of 2 with respect to 1 it is in this direction and this direction is r1 vector minus r2 vector so that's why s21 is r1 vector minus r2 vector and this is just the position of 2 with respect to 1 here we are not talking about position we are talking about displacement so anyway s21 is r1 vector minus r2 vector and ut1 u21 is u2 vector minus u1 vector now a21 means a2 vector minus a1 vector right so in order to collide we in this question we were given the a21 was zero because both were moving with constant velocities so a2 was also zero and a1 was also zero so you can see that in certain other conditions also we can use this equation to get our collision so first condition is when a21 is zero both a2 and a1 are zero which is given in the question second is a2 vector and a1 vector are in the same direction and same magnitude in that case also a2 vector minus a1 vector will become zero so that will be the case when you throw two particles up in the air so then also their accelerations will get cancelled out and this equation will still hold true third case for collision can be when the direction of a21 is same as direction of 21 so here the acceleration of 2 if that is also in this direction then also they will collide so these are various there are obviously certain more cases also when like when they will collide but they will be little bit more complicated so he has given a simple question where yeah, we are just assumed the a21 to be zero and we just solved it with this part of the equation.